Hi guys, this is Jeg. Uh, I'm going to change uh, my yoke core and transform it to a lossless clamp as this suggested uh, by Verpis at overunity.com but I found it a good idea before doing this to record uh, my drain signals how was before uh, before adding my dissipative RCD snubber very spiky ring, uh, ringing uh, at 1.4 MHz and uh, after inserting this uh, dissipative snubber RCD my signals uh, became like that clearer we see an almost uh, square pulse drain at 48 volt but still with this high voltage peak at the start of each pulse which uh, I couldn't do anything about this I tried uh, different values of resistance and uh, capacitor but uh, I wasn't able to eliminate it and uh, now I decided to as I told you to change my yoke core to a lossless uh, one and uh, to see the results so if, uh, if everything will go well see you later guys this is it guys this is the finished uh, transformer two primaries 12 turns per primary and each primary stra starts from here it goes all the way around and finishes here and the second primary over the first and underneath the 28, 28 turns uh, secondary and now let's connect it to see what will happen back again guys everything is connected now uh, my yoke core is this I just removed my RCD number, snubbers over uh, my MOSFETs and now we just uh, have the switches just by themselves connected to the lossless clamp design yoke core uh, the only thing I made the extra thing is this two electrolytic caps in parallel with uh, two ceramic caps at 100 nanofarad 160 volts 220 microfarads uh, the big electrolytic capacitors and uh, we have two diodes incorporated in one chip here two Scott kit drive, uh, diodes here is the connections And uh, we are going to watch now our drains for its MOSFET and the same time my gate signals for both MOSFETs uh, I already took a SAT and uh, this is here Okay, yellow and uh, this light blue is my drain signals and uh, the other two are my gates as we see I still have some uh, peaks over my drains uh, which uh, shows that uh, something goes wrong with my connections because normally we shouldn't see uh, those 
voltages here and here those high peaks they had uh, to be down to 48 volts like, like this line uh, also there are some uh, parasitics that are strange for me but my main purpose now is first of all to eliminate this high voltage peak at the start of my uh, drain pulse so I have uh, to search now what what is going wrong with my connections I already swap a few times my coils but probably I still make a mistake on somewhere in my connections and I have to find out what happens as uh, suggested by uh, Verpis uh, I measured my DC voltage across those electrolytic capacitors and instead of 48 volts it is only 24 volts and this is the voltage of my power supply So guys, let me please uh, troubleshoot uh, the system and I'll come back with a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.